Hello and welcome. I uh, have a new microphone. You probably don't notice because uh, this is what the old microphone looked like. <laughs> it's basically the same thing. Um, however, this one is a little bit nicer, uh, just slightly. The person who has to listen to my voice the most is me, and I was getting annoyed with the like mouth sounds that was happening in this mic, so I got rid of it and now I have this mic. I'm excited about that. It probably doesn't make a difference to you. You probably can't hear a difference, but rest assured that I feel better. So, uh, Zyla. Uh? Huh? We got her to 10 hearts because she was playing hard to get and didn't want to ask us out. I have her keepsake, which I will show you for posterity's sake. Um, which gives mana, health, and damage. I'm still using Donovan's keepsake because I think it's better because it gives you movement speed. Movement speed is like prime real estate right there because you get health and mana from literally everything in this game versus like the jump height and the movement speed are harder to get in my opinion. So the keepsake from Xyla is like meh. But anyway, she's about to ask us out, I hope. You're looking at me funny, but not in a way that makes me want to laugh. Okay, you're creeping me out. What's the big idea? You're not dating anybody, right? Wow, strong assumption, outsider. Are you trying to leave town bruised? If I'm not dating anyone, it's just because there's nobody in this town worth my time. Oh, wait, I see what this is. You're trying to ask me out on a date, aren't you? <laughs> I didn't think you had the spine to ask me something like that. Maybe that's what I'm asking. Not backing down? Adorable. All right then, let's see what happens. If nothing else, it'll be hilarious. Meet me in front of my apartment 5 p.m. tomorrow. Don't be late. See ya. All right, we're approaching the date. I do want to say, if you ever feel like you are running late for something, just go here and click the day speed to like 40 minutes and then you can buy yourself a little bit of moments. Anyway, hey farmer. I was trying to say that I like an insult. Did you pick up on that? Anyway, are you ready to go? I'm ready. So here we are. I remember you saying that there was more to you than I thought. I'm ready to find out now. Go ahead, impress me. Impress you how? Well, I don't know, sewer rat. Are you telling me there's nothing more to you? What I see is what I get? Uh, you haven't even scratched the surface. Is that so? Well, then I can't wait to dig deep. Still, you are the first outsider from Sunhaven to have reached Withergate. That still amazes me, you know. After the rumors started, we all worked hard to make sure Withergate was near impossible to reach from Sunhaven for our own safety. Uh, it's boring to get into, just that once the humans started spreading rumors about Withergate, we realized that Sunhaven was a dangerous place for monster folk. We cursed the forest with fog and left that nasty old dog to guard the boat. I never thought someone would actually ask the dog for a ride. Uh, it was a clever puzzle, though. <laughs> it couldn't have been that clever if you figured it out. Then again, you've shown that you're not completely useless. Maybe you're the kind of person we want to find Withergate after all. I guess, in a way, I'm glad you broke our defenses. It's been fun messing with you, at least. And maybe I'm actually starting to like you. Maybe. Uh, I'm glad I got to meet you. Okay, that's enough nice talk. Is everyone in Sunhaven like this? How do you stand it? Don't worry, we can go back to trading insults whenever you want. Thank goodness, all those humans in Sunhaven. No wonder they're so soft. Being nice is exhausting. Well, sewer rat, it's getting late and I have work to do. Somehow, this wasn't all that bad. Okay, this was fun. What are you, a child? This wasn't some play date. Anyway, I'll see you around, sewer rat. What a weird response. Whatever. <laughs> I'm over complaining about the stupid dialogue options, because I think that there's no point. They're bad. <laughs> They're, I mean, they're not bad, but they're they're kind of bad, and I don't think there's a reason to complain about it at this point. Everyone's complained about it at this point, like, I don't need to add fuel to that fire. If I have something interesting to say, trust me, I will say it to you, but at this moment, like, I just don't feel a need to share what's already been said. Anyway, I'll see you on our next date. You just can't stay away, can you? You don't like the attention? Attention is nice, recognition is better, but to say that I love your attention is a bit of a stretch, don't you think? No. But very well, if you wish, you may lavish me, to the best of your ability anyways. Um, sure, let's go along with it. All right, I'll humor you. Meet me in front of my apartment at 5 p.m. tomorrow. I'm excited for this one. I have kind of figured out by now, the first date is always just like, we're hanging out, hanging out is cool, yay! And the second day is like, 
And I had a tragedy happen to me when I was a child, and I must tell you about it. I'm excited to hear what tragedy Zyla has faced. There you are. Nice of you to show up. Ready to go in? I'm ready. Where's our date gonna be? At her place? Yeah. Alright. Oh, it's so cute in here. Mostly because she has a giant cat. <laughs> so, aren't you gonna compliment my apartment? It's really nice. Ha, ah, sure. Okay, that didn't sound rehearsed at all. Uh, no, really, I love it. Now you're just trying too hard. Okay. You know, these apartments are some of the nicest rooms in Withergate, outside the castle, of course. Would you want to live in the castle? Like a queen? Queen Zyla? Zyla, the genius demon queen? Uh, no. No, I've never even thought about it before. It sounds like you've never even thought about it. All right, you've got me. Do I fantasize about it before I go to bed sometimes? Sure, have I planned out exactly how to overthrow the demon king and take his throne? Of course. Wait, what was the question? As fantastic as I would be with Ergate's queen, Queen Zyla, it really is not the job for me. The power is totally appealing, but the actual work is not really my speed. I'm surprised you think so. It's not like I think it'd be bad at the job, but the everyday work is actually quite boring. A lot of paperwork. A lot of paperwork. Besides, trying to make a city of people happy doesn't sound like my kind of fun. My whole life, I've been good at one thing, and that's making myself happy. I agree, I don't need a ruler to make myself happy. I don't know, the, the second one seems so bad that the top one has to win. I think anyone that needs power is to be happy is psychotic. Huh? What? What? Don't get me wrong, power's a ton of fun, but there's a difference between having it and needing it. Anyways, this was fun, but it's getting late. I'd invite you to stay the night, but nah. Talk to you tomorrow, sewer rat. What? Okay, here's my hypothesis. My hypothesis is that Xyla is the archetype that Donovan is trying to be. Donovan is trying to be the fight the system, no one should have power, everyone should be free to do what they want, freedom, blah blah blah. And Zyla is the one who's actually exhibiting that based off of her backstory. I don't think it was said right, though. I don't think it was said right, though. We're... We're gonna do another red string session. Please hold. All right, I'm attempting to cover myself up with myself. It doesn't always work. I'm sorry if it bothers you. I fantasized about being queen. The power is totally appealing, but I hate work. I think that anyone that needs power to be happy is psychotic. Am I the only one seeing that this does not add up? Like, at all? What? Okay, this makes sense to me. This line aligns perfectly with what I think she is as a person. Where people complain about paperwork, they complain about systems, they complain about people trying to control me and the government's out to get me and COVID-19 was a conspiracy. Like, that all lines up perfectly with her archetype. Okay, it's actually quite congruent and I'm, I'm very happy about that. However, my whole life I've been good at one thing and that's making myself happy. I know people like that, I'm like that. I'm a selfish asshole in case you didn't figure that out by me making a million YouTube videos and watching myself through editing 500 times. That's me, okay, I get that, I get that part. But if you need power, you're psychotic. But if you spend your whole life trying to make yourself happy, then you're inherently giving yourself power. And so saying that anyone who needs power to be happy is psychotic, you're basically saying you're psychotic? Is she a hypocrite? I'm so lost, especially here. The power is appealing. Anyone who needs power to be happy is psychotic? Power is a ton of fun. There's a difference between having it and needing it. So in Zyla's mind, is she just inherently powerful? And therefore she doesn't fall into that category of people who need power? power? It just doesn't make sense to me. It just makes no sense. I, I think I'm just gonna move on from that for now and hope it like works itself out and maybe more information will come along that will align those things for me. That is just, I don't. How does she make any sense at this point? She doesn't. I did find out that you don't actually have to give them a love letter to date them, which is what I've been doing and I thought you had to do, but you don't. So um, if you click the heart, <laughs> I do want to ask them to date you. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a shot, but you better have good aim. I'll be your girlfriend. Nice. Now we just have to get to 15, and then we can get the spicy date. All right, we finally got up to 15 hearts. Ask Zyla if she'd tolerate a date. Right now, 
I'm game, sit down. You look tense. Are you second guessing your little impromptu date? Uh, not at all. That's what I like about you. Sometimes you say exactly the right thing. Sometimes. Most people never do. So, the drink bar in here. Clever. I think I know something you'd like, actually. What is it? Zyla throws her arms around you, embracing you. She kisses you, growling slightly as she does before releasing you. What's wrong? Can't handle a little kiss? You're really gonna lose it when I tell you that I love you. Blah. Zyla prepares a couple drinks. She hands you a glass of black, fizzing liquid. She downs it in one gulp. You can barely tolerate just smelling it. It tastes really horrible. Zyla makes fun of you for a while before showing you a shred of mercy and changing the topic. You decide it's best to leave before it gets too late. The thing is, they kept advertising this third date as a spicy date, okay? And I thought maybe Wernhart was just a prude, okay? However, every date has been like that. They're like, I love you, kiss. Wasn't that spicy? That was spicy, wasn't it? No, no, that was as, that was as spicy as milk, okay? I mean, it's it's fine. It's a fine date, just it's not a spicy date. The time has come. I gave her the engagement ring. It went way faster because I it took so long to get to the dates that like I went through all of the dialogue cycles. If you don't know, there's like seven dialogue cycles for each romanceable character and you have to get through all of them until they will accept your engagement ring. So like with Donovan, I got through the dates really early and then I spent like 20 days trying to get all of the dialogue cycles before he would accept the ring. And with Zyla, I, it took me like 20 days to get to the date, so I had gone through so many dialogue cycles up front, so it was a little swapped. Oh, hey, I shouldn't really be surprised. Actually, what's really surprising is, I don't think it's a bad idea. Sure, let's do it. I'll even set it up for you in your beloved human town. Let's kick it off at 4pm. Don't be late, sewer rat. I can't wait. I am excited to see you what the wedding ring looks like. Also, small thing, they just had a micro patch, or they had a couple micro patches, um, and this screen now appears to work from what I can tell, but also they finally switched this to say press E to continue. It said press E to continue, and then it said press interact to continue, and every day on the Discord, there was someone being like, help, I'm stuck on this screen, how to move forward? and someone would have to respond, press E. So finally they have fixed that, thank God. I have the perfect outfit. When you complete the um, money bundle in the museum, you get this very dapper outfit. I thought it was uh, perfect for this wedding. All right, there you have it. I also uh, have a memory loss potion already prepped, uh, but let's look at the wedding ring. 5 attack damage, 5 defense, 25 tickets per day, and 20 health. And then the one I'm currently wearing is Donovan's, which gives movement speed and dodge chance. Bonus XP. I kind of feel like the movement speed is just better. Uh, I feel like once you get farther in this game, like the, the tickets, like you can see that money is not an issue for me right now. So the tickets aren't really that useful. It seems like movement speed is a much more valuable resource. Xyla's uh, keepsake and wedding ring are good early game, but probably not so much late game. Also, for everyone wondering, like this is what the room looks like. Much more aesthetically pleasing than the other two rooms that I've seen, which is Wernhart and Donovan. It's like a, a very cohesive theme. I think it's the colors. With the other two rooms, it was like, it was a very neutral palette. Xyla's is very... Very cute. All right, it's been a couple days. Uh, I was waiting for the exclamation point and we have it now. Oh, there you are. Why are you looking at me like that? Because I need a little something from you. Do you think you could be a good little spouse and get me some concrete? There's none to be found around Sunhaven. Just three refined concrete, my pet. Oh, we're so obedient. Just what I love. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this feels different. It it feels different than all of the other dialogues. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, I don't know where to get concrete. What? Where the hell? Three refined concrete? Wiki? Wiki wiki? Please don't fail me in my time of need. I got the concrete. 
Ah, this is quality concrete too. Thanks for running that errand for me, babe. I really needed this. Mmm. <laughs> mm. We're gonna go do a little bit of a... <laughs> a little bit of look-see at, at that. Alright, I've put a square over my past self so that I'm not distracted by it. I'm still trying to figure this out. I just feel like the language here is so different than the rest of Zyla's commentary. My dear wife Zyla would like some concrete. So I'm, I'm like in a debate right now because I'm like this language is so different from the rest of Zyla's dialogue. But I also uh, like there's so little post-marriage content that does it matter if it sounds different if this is the only dialogue you get after marriage, kind of? Like, does it need to blend in if it's a different stage of your relationship? You know, like, once you're married, you could just say, like, oh, Zyla is different now, and that's why her dialogue is different. In some ways, it's nice, because you're getting a different conversation with Zyla, because the verbiage is different. The, like, feel of it is different. It's more romantic, I guess. The word babe comes out, which we've never seen. <laughs> the voicing feels very different from the rest of the dialogue. It's it's both good and bad. It's Schrodinger's dialogue right now. I don't know what to say, um, but I, I, I don't know. It's worth saying something about it, I guess. Which is more cold, the snow or me? Ha. Huh. We're going to use the uh, memory loss potion now. What's this? Buy me a drink, huh? I've trained you well, my little sewer rat. You know exactly how I like my drinks. Free. Mm -hmm. Zyla drinks the potion and forgets everything about your marriage. That's it? Next time get me something with a little kick. And why do I have this ring on my finger? Ugh, it's absolutely atrocious. <laughs> what in the world was I thinking when I put this ring on? This is the guilt trip I've been expecting from all the other characters and haven't gotten it yet, so it feels really satisfying to have gotten like a good, a good dig from Zyla. I appreciate it. Thanks for your service, Zyla. It's been great knowing you. And now we're moving on to the next candidate. I think next is June. June, probably. Otherwise I was thinking about Iris, but I think it's June next. So anyway, thank you for watching. Appreciate you being here and for joining me with uh, Zyla's exciting personality. <laughs> Bye, everyone.